In this video, we're going to talk about how to multiply decimals using the stack method. In other words, if I wanted to multiply, let's say, 123 times 45 or 0.45, how would I do this? Well, I guess the trick is, and we'll talk about the trick first, and then we'll talk about how, how that actually works or, and where that comes from. The trick for me is to ignore this decimal point and multiply it out as if we're just doing 123 times 45 and then counting the number of digits before the decimal point which in this case is 2 and that means whatever result I get from this we want to move the decimal twice to the left so um, we're going to, get, going to get an answer here and then we're going to move that decimal two places to the left, and that will be the answer for this problem. And then we'll talk about why that makes sense. So how do we multiply these two? Well, again, we start with this digit, 5, multiply it by the 3. That's 15. Put the 1 up here, right, because it's 1, 10, and 1, 5. 5 times 2 is also 10, plus 1 is 11. 1 goes here, and then the hundreds place 1 goes there because that's really 5 times 20 which is 100 plus 10 which is 110 and with 110 of course right this is the hundreds place and that's the tens place so we put the tens place 1 in the tens column and the hundreds place 1 in the hundreds column and then we do 5 times 1 which is 5 plus 1 which is 6 and of course that's really 5 times 100 plus another 100, which is 600. And now we move on to the 4 over here, and that's really a 40. So when we first do 4 times 3, that's really 40 times 3. Or in the, we're going to, going to be in the hundreds and tens place. So we put a 0 here as a placeholder, right? Because if I put 4 times 3 as 12 and then put a 2 here, that wouldn't make sense. This is the ones column, and this is already 40. So 40 times any number here, any whole number, will give us something above the units place. So we have to start here. And I'm going to cross out these two, because we don't need them anymore. And now I do 4 times 3, which is 12, or really 120, and the 2, right, and 120. The 2 goes in the tens place, and the 100 goes in the hundreds place, which is now here. And 4 times 2 is 8, plus 1 is 9. That's really 40 times 20, which is 800, plus another 100, which is 900. And then 40 times um, 1, or 4 times 1, which is 4. Or 40 times 100, right, which is 4,000. And now we add these two. <coughs> and that's 5, and 3, and 9, and 6 is also 15. And that's... 5,535. Now we want to move the decimal twice to the left. So we'll put this answer here, 5535. Five, so where is the decimal point right now in the problem? Well, it's right here. Right? 5,535, the decimal point rests over here. We don't write it typically, but that's where it is. And now we want to move that twice to the left. So one space, right, around one digit, and then again, and that's our answer, 55.35. And just so we're absolutely sure, let's check that on the calculator. 123 times 0.45. And there it is, 55.35. So, I think we'll stop this video here. And in the next one, we're going to focus on why this makes a lot of sense. All right, it's not just something to memorize, but there's a lot of logic behind this. So I hope that helps.